Removing the fuel rails and fuel injectors on these engines can be difficult even with OE service tools. In this video, we're going to show you some tricks on how to more easily remove the components without damaging them. Let's begin by identifying the parts. On the top, we have the right fuel rail or the passenger side fuel rail. On the bottom, we have the left or driver's side fuel rail. We also have these two fuel lines that we're going to need to remove in order to pull the rails out. So let's begin. The technician is now removing the two fuel lines. Now before he started doing this, he did bleed the high pressure out of the fuel rails. And now he's going to remove the bolt that holds the lines in place and then remove them from the engine. Now it's very important here to dispose of these two parts. These are one-time use components. Once you take them loose, you throw them away. All right, so the technician took a few moments and disconnected all the wiring that connected to the injectors and the fuel rail sensor. And now he's going to loosen up the bolts that hold the fuel rails to the cylinder head to prepare the rails for removal. Now, before we remove the fuel rail, let's discuss these two tools. They are both necessary for the operation. The long tool with the hook on the end is going to be used to exert a upwards force on the fuel rail up away from the engine. And the small tool here will be used to redirect that force at an angle away from the cylinder head. So these two tools will work together to try to put the appropriate force and direction on the fuel rails and injectors. So let's take a look. So he begins with the long tool and this is going to be used to apply an upwards force. Now notice that, however, he's producing an upwards force, but the rail and the injectors are connected into the cylinder head at an angle. He has no choice but to lift straight up with that tool. That's his only choice. And he's using the small tool to redirect the force off to an angle. So again, he's lifting up and then he's pushing in with the other tool. And the idea is to cause the rail to exit the cylinder head at the correct angle. All right, so now he's in the rear of this. He hasn't been prying on the center of the rail because the center of the rail underneath has all the wiring to the injectors and he's afraid of damaging the wiring. So that's how he's going at this. Now this one here gave him a lot of trouble to get out and he's done this many times but he's still having trouble and so you can see that uh, this is almost out. All right so now it's broken loose. All right, so now let's go to the other side and do the same thing. We're lifting up while pushing in the two tools working together to try to cause the injectors to pull at an angle out of the head. We don't want it to go straight up because it'll twist the tips of the injectors and sometimes bend the fuel rail. So this one's being stubborn as well. 
but uh, there it is. He's got all of it loose now, and he's going to lift that right out of there. And now we need to take a look at the two rails on the bench. All right, so despite his best efforts and lots of experience pulling these fuel rails, we can see here that the right fuel rail is bent. This thing was really stuck in the cylinder head. It was a tough battle. He used the right tools. He used a method that has worked for him much better than the OE service tools, but yet it's still bent. Let's take a look now at the left fuel rail. The left fuel rail was tight, but he was able to get it out without bending either the fuel rail or the injectors themselves. So even with the right tools, the right know-how, you can still bend these. It's just a product of how long they are and how tight they get stuck in the cylinder head. But if you use the right technique and the right tools, you can minimize the damage to the fuel rail. Many technicians have decided that the best course of action on these is if you have to pull the fuel rail to get to the injectors for any reason, just go ahead and replace the fuel rail with the fuel injectors that you're pulling out. Or if you're just pulling it out for service to the cylinder head, replace the fuel rail and then replace the seals on the old fuel injectors.